Hi, this is Ryan from RapidWeaverClassroom.com, and I'd like to introduce you to the HTML5 video stack from Joe Workman. The stack is used to display and present video on your website, and it uses the HTML5 video player in any browser that will accept that player. Now, for older browsers or browsers that do not support HTML5, it will fall back to a Flash player, so it's very flexible in how it presents your video. And all of the adjustments are made through the inspector HUD in this stack. You can see how it looks here in edit mode. And let's jump into the inspector HUD where we will adjust our settings. So first you need to tell the stack where your video is located. And so in this instance, I've added a video file to my resources here in Rapid Weaver. Now you need to be using an H.264 compatible video. And so I've got an MP4 called overview.mp4. And I'm going to use the resource macro in Rapid Weaver to link to that file. You can also host your file online and then put the full URL to that file in that field as well. Next we have a, um, a field for AUG video. This is the format that Firefox uses for HTML5. So if you'd like Firefox to display your video with an HTML5 player, you'll want to encode your video using AUG and then also put a link to that version of your video file in this field. Otherwise, Firefox will fall back to a Flash player to display your video. You will also need to know the settings of width and height, the dimensions of your video. So I'm going to set mine here, which is 546 by 308. And then finally, we have a few options available. Autoplay, which will do that as soon as the page loads, it will begin to play the video. Loop will um, restart the video from the beginning once it completes. Show controls allows the user to hit play and pause and adjust volume. And the auto buffer for longer videos can be helpful um, to buffer the video before it begins to play so that it will not pause in the middle. Finally, if you would like to add a poster image, this is a static image that displays before the video is played and this is useful if you're not using autoplay. Selecting that option places an image drop zone directly into the stack. So I'm going to take a poster image that I've created and place it right here. So that is a, an overview of all of the settings. Let's jump into preview and you will see how this looks. As you can see, the HTML5 player is loaded here. We can see the controls, which include play and pause and the volume controls. And I do not have it set to autoplay. So at the time I am seeing the poster image and then I would hit play to load the video and begin. And so that is the HTML5 video stack from Joe Workman.